friends, welcome to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and in today's video we are answering one of my most common questions. What Cricut is right for me? I have partnered with Cricut on today's video to give you the ins and outs and my opinions on the machine so you can make the best decision for you, so stay tuned. The most common question that I get really by far is what Cricut should I buy? And usually my answer is it depends. And really what I mean by that is I just need to better understand what you are going to use your Cricut for. There are three different models at three different price points with different things that they can do, lists of materials they can cut, etc. So really big picture, it's not as intimidating as it sounds, but you want to better understand what your use case is before you can pick the right machine. So let's start with what are Cricut machines and what do they all have in common? So no matter which one you go with, you'll know what you're in for. So boiled down, crickets are digital die cutting machines. So if you think about those old machines that you used to turn and cut out letters for like school bulletin boards, it's that same concept, but these have come such a long way. They can cut, they can draw, they can score, and they can help you personalize a wide variety of mediums with a ton of different materials. All of Cricut machines run on Cricut Design Space, which is Cricut's app, and it's included with your machine. I've had people ask, is Cricut Design Space free? Do you pay monthly, et cetera? Cricut Design Space is included with your machine, so there's no additional charge to use the software to cut on your machine. You do have the option, however, to purchase Cricut Access. That gives you access to a ton of different fonts and images all within Cricut Design Space. That's a monthly fee, but then you do get 10% off your purchases at Cricut.com when you buy materials, etc. if you're part of Cricut Access. All three machines can connect via Bluetooth and the two larger ones can connect via USB as well. So if you don't have a laptop, that's no problem. You can use your phone or your tablet with all three machines. So let's start with the Cricut Joy. It is the newest and smallest machine that Cricut makes. This machine is totally operated through design space, so it doesn't have any buttons or dials. The Cricut Joy has one tool slot compared to two on the other larger machines, and that's not a huge deal, but just keep that in mind if you are wanting to do a right tool and then your blade to cut, you'll just have to swap that out in between. Not a huge deal, but something to be aware of. The cut width with the Joy is four and a half inches, which is a lot smaller than the 11 and a half inches that you can cut on the other two machines, but it works really well for quick projects because of how portable the machine is. You can get it out, do what you need to do, and then put it right away. The two coolest features of the Cricut Joy is the first, the ability to do mat free cutting. So that means you can cut vinyl up to 20 feet, yes, feet long, if you use Cricut's Smart Vinyl. That's compared to two feet long with the other two machines. The smart materials have a stronger backing, which take the place of a traditional mat. So that's how you're able to cut that. And I'm also really loving their Joy card mat that allows you to whip up last minute cards easily. This is exclusive to the Joy. I am always forgetting to buy cards for different things. So it's nice to be able to whip up one really fast as needed. Cricut Joy is great for almost all of your basic Cricut crafts, including iron-on vinyl, adhesive vinyl, writable labels, and cardstock. So overall, who is this machine best for? I think it's best for those who are short on space because it's really small. If you like to create custom cards because that feature is awesome. Those who want to start small or you might be a little intimidated about those larger Cricut machines so you can start on a smaller scale or like how I like to use it as a companion to your other machines for those smaller projects when you don't want to take the big one out. Up next, let's talk about the Explore Air 2 model. And this one probably looks super familiar because this is what you see me crafting with in literally all of my videos. This is my favorite machine and I absolutely love it. Now, as you can see, it is considerably larger than the Cricut Joy. However, it is still easy to move around. I take it out when I need to use it and then I have a carrying case that I just pack it up and put it in my coat closet on my main floor when I'm not using it. So it's pretty easy to store even though it is much larger than the Cricut Joy. With this machine, you can cut over a hundred materials that includes adhesive vinyl and iron-on which is also known as heat transfer vinyl infusible ink cardstock thick felt leather and more so there's a lot more materials that you can cut with this machine this model does have buttons and a dial so the buttons are the power button to turn it on and off open to open the machine 
a load button to load your mat to cut, the Cricut logo, which starts projects, a pause button to pause the cut if needed, and then any other settings that you need for your cut can be found in that Design Space app. This machine has the ability to have two tools in at once, an A slot and a B slot. So as I was talking about with the Joy with this one, you can score and cut in one swoop, you can write and cut, you don't have to switch out the tools. Also with the Explore Air, you can purchase Cricut's bonded fabric blade or a deep cut blade, which will help you expand the list of materials that you can cut. The bonded fabric blade can help you cut fabric that has a backing, and I've seen crafters use this for quilting appliques, and the deep cut blade can cut thicker items like cardboard and felt, so you can do materials up to one and a half millimeters thick. It also has two storage slots to hold extra blades, tools, and accessories, which really helps me not lose things. This machine can cut on a 12 by 12 mat or a 12 by 24 inch mat for those larger projects. And I really do like those longer mats when I make larger projects like wood signs or the character cutouts I just made for Finn's birthday. Like the other machines, you can upload your own files, upload the free ones that I provide or select from a ton of Cricut projects within Design Space. It also has a slot to insert your old cartridges, which is super helpful if you're upgrading from an older model, you won't lose those images. The Explore Air retails for $249. However, I have seen sales on this thing all over the place, and I see them quite often. I've seen it as low as $179, so if you are patient, you can get a deal, especially around the holidays. If you want to cut the common materials that you're seeing other crafters use, like iron-on, vinyl, cardstock, this is your machine. And then finally, we can talk about the Mac Daddy of them all, the Cricut Maker. And now you can see it's not sitting here. That machine is definitely on my wish list. It is more expensive than either of these machines, but it can do everything that the Cricut Explore Air can do and then some. I have had my eyes on a Cricut Maker for a long time, so I've been doing a lot of research and stalking, so I feel like I have a good amount of information that I can share with you on this machine as well. It can cut 300 plus materials like cutting unbonded fabric so it doesn't need a stabilizer backing that you need with the Explore Air 2. And overall, it does cut felt better than the Air 2 as well. If you also are needing to cut thicker materials like leather and balsa wood, you can do that with the knife blade. The thing that really sets the Maker apart are all the different tools that you can get to use with it. So things like an engraving tool, a debossing tool, a perforation tool, and more. The machine was built for Cricut to continue to be able to add new tools for new materials, so it will continue to evolve as they make more tools. The Maker retails for $399, which I know can come a sticker shock. However, I look at my machines as an investment. So if I extrapolate everything that I've saved by DIYing our decor, clothes, gifts, cards, etc., it's worth every penny. So this machine is for more serious crafters looking to start a business or an Etsy shop. This is great for you if you like to craft with a variety of materials or you do sewing projects. Also, if you're a felt crafting enthusiast or you wanna be able to cut things like wood or engrave things, this one is worth the investment for those crafters that need all of those extra bells and whistles. It's next on my list for sure. I hope this video answered your questions on which Cricut machine is best for you and your individual use case. Let me know in the comments if you still have some questions, I would be happy to answer them for you. I love making sure that people find the right Cricut and that they have the skills to utilize the machine as the investment that they are. As a reminder, I've got a full rundown with all this information and then some over on my blog as well to really help you make the best decision for this investment. Thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!